Okay, so I'm deciding to release this as a bundle. So this is the Anycubic uh, upside down drip that I've designed because the auto feeding system that Anycubic have uh, released for their M3 series is just terrible. It doesn't work. So as you've seen in my previous video, this is the cap that I designed. It's much more durable and it doesn't actually uh, skip this rotation. And it's got a built in rod for blowing the air in to the pipe and then retrieves it through one of the holes. So you see that it's got the holes that connect to the pipes. So first of all, let me just walk you through what you're actually gonna get in this kit. You're gonna get this upside down drip. The cap, once mounted to the bottle, would go inside here. You can see it would slot in here. And the cables and the pipes would be coming out here. Uh, another update that I made with this cap, in case you do get a drip, which you shouldn't, all the resin would be collected at the bottom of this. So it wouldn't just pour down randomly, it would stay in here. But that is the last case scenario. It shouldn't drip because now what I've done was I actually am using proper rubber O-rings that were used for plumbing, for gases and stuff. Because what I've previously done in my digital files was released a gasket design for TPU. However, if you mix TPU with resin, actually it deteriorates, it disintegrates the TPU, which is what happened to me previously. So that's why I decided to go and buy some proper rubber o-rings. Look what happened to the TPU. It looks like the TPU deteriorates. 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 So using a gasket printed out of TPU is a bad idea. So let me just show you how this is going to be put together. We've got to start with the cap. So that is the cap. And just as mentioned, so in the physical release that I'm actually making for the package, you will receive this, this, M4 bolts, M4 nuts, terminal forks, rubber O-rings for the M4, and a rubber O-ring for the cap itself. So let's get to assembling this. So first of all, let's fit the rubber O-ring inside. So that goes very bottom and then I'm gonna use this anning key to push it down all the way so this is a carefully selected rubber o-ring for this correct size so it doesn't just randomly pop out so it's gonna stay in place we can see the rubber o-ring there and it's not gonna fall out and it's not too big it's not too small it's just the right size for a nice tight fit now that we got that, we can work on the other things. So, which is, what should we work on now? Let's we push these. So this, you're not gonna get, this is the wire that you should already have with your system. However, I reworked mine, because I wanna fit these two wires onto terminal forks. So you will get these terminal forks, however you're not gonna get the wire, you need to use the wire that you have already. It doesn't matter which orientation goes which side, as all it's doing is it's passing a electrical current through it. So yeah, orientation doesn't matter. And you need to watch my previous videos of how, of how I soldered this together to the terminal forks. It's nothing over the top, but you should watch it so you understand what's going on. So I think I've got so far, this is the third video on the upside down drip. Because <laughs> I kept on making iterations on it and making slight changes where I did have some issues with my design, but this should be as good as it gets really because now I'm using proper O-rings instead of TPU. Right, so now that it's arranged, basically I saw I put those wires in one hole and then the other, and don't worry, we're gonna have space to put the actual pipes that feed the resin. So don't worry about that. So, now we can actually align M4 bolt, and we've got the rubber o-ring here. Let's put the rubber o-ring on. And once it's in all the way, I'm gonna twist it, just to make sure it's not in a twisted state. So there we go, that looks nice. And actually, I'm gonna put it through the bottom this time. There we go. Let's do both of them first. Second one. Gonna rotate it slightly. Okay. 
So let's do one of them first. Let's just get one of them to one side and the other to the other side. Let's do the red first. I want to get the black on the other side so it's not in the way. Just need to be careful with these two. Also a note, this is printed in ABS like resin and this is printed with an FDM plastic in PETG. Now for the for the nut, M4 nut. Okay, so this is starting to rotate. So I'm gonna push the bolt up. And do that slowly. awkward to secure this in place. Black one that's getting in the way a little bit. Nope, not at the bottom, not at the top, it needs to go underneath the bolt. Not. Here we go. Okay, so you don't need to over tighten this because it's a rubber o ring. So I feel resistant, just a little bit more until we see that the rubber o ring is squished nicely. Because if we squish it too much, we don't want to pop out of the friend. So that looks just about right. And let's do the other side. Actually, pop them up. You know the name of this uh, hex driver bit in the name of it. And there's a Phillips and a slotted one, but I don't know the name of this one. Just thinking if I do, do I want to hand tighten it? I want to give it the same squish that's on the other side. Okay. I'm trying to show you, you can see the rubber o ring there. You can see it's squished nicely. So that's it for the terminals. Terminal as in like uh, the wires. So now we can actually connect the pipes. Remember you don't get these pipes in the package I'm gonna sell. So let me just connect that to show you what you should do. So the clear one goes to the vat because that's what I wanna see the liquid. You see it's got VAT written on it. And we can just shove it gently. Just need to be careful with the wires now. Because those wires do give some room. Do take up some room, not give. And gently rotate it. Don't overpress it because you don't want to break this area. The reason why this is here is to reinforce these pipes so they don't bend because this area is rather thin. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of pulling the wire. Not the wire, the pump. Not the pump, the pumps. <laughs> the pipe. Jeez, what is my language? So we've got all the rubber o-rings on, so that's fine. Just want to get at least over two of these notches. That's pretty good as it is. What you just want to make sure you don't do is you don't want to twist to each side, to any of the sides when you're pushing this over. 
looking for the black one. Same thing, but on the other side. There we go. Push up on. And that's pretty much ready to go. So now we can connect this to the actual printer. But yeah, I'm not going to tighten this any further. All it basically needs to do for the auto feed system to pick up the resin is basically have the resin at the bottom. So the resin touches both of them, which is going to pass an electrical current through them both, through the resin. And you can see we've got a huge rubber O-ring, which is going to make contact with the bottle. So I'm going to pull them through the back, through the hole. Make sure there's no kinks in it. If you have a kink, it's not going to work. Black goes to the pump side, which is at the very back. Make sure it's pushed in all the way, which it is, and the clear one to the vat side. That's done. And I'm going to pull it slightly further, just out my way. And the wire at the back there we go until you feel it pop and now for the first few uses you want to be sure that there's no drip since the bottle is going to be upside down I have this little tray here and you might want to put some kitchen roll on it maybe to absorb it in case it does leak which again it shouldn't considering we have nice rubber o-rings Okay, so a brand new bottle of resin, ABS like Pro 2, any cubic. And remember, this is for any cubic model, so we need to take this off. This is cardboard. It might not make a proper seal, because this is cardboard. So take it off and then pierce it and cut out the silk cover area. And use gloves, unlike me. Okay, throw that out. And now you can actually twist it on. So, one thing to note before you actually secure this on, make sure that this, the, the bottom of this, is the same level as the printer. Because if it's higher, once it's upside down, the resin can drip into the vat by itself. So we want it below, because that way it won't uh, go into the vat itself, because the vat will be higher. So, the resin will go into the clear pipe but up to the level of the highest point of the resin so keep it flat keep it low so let's connect it and make sure we've got enough space which i do and you don't want to rotate the cap because we've got wires rotate the bottle instead To be fuel resistant, and that's when it's contacting the rubber o ring, and now it's ready. So, place this in your reservoir kind of thing as a test for first few tries, and then you can flip it upside down. And then you want to put the slot inside where the wires go and slot it in easy. 